Hi guys, today I'm unboxing the Maser Jupiter Extreme Mini PC. Um, this thing uh, is a i5 and it's a 7th gen. So yeah, let's uh, let's see how it looks. I know, I think this one was ordered with 4 gigs of RAM. Okay, so inside the box is this little bracket. I believe that is to, we'll see now, but attach it to a monitor or something. Okay, it's a, um, it's a quite heavy, quite a heavy little machine. Um, this is the little booklet and a screw for something. We'll figure all of that out as we go along. Um, no, I believe uh, this thing is flexible enough to um, add more RAM, or you can even get it with a upgrade it to an i7 if you want. Um, there's the installation disk, and then let's see what's in the bottom. Okay, there's the screen or the bracket which you can use to attach it to a monitor. Looks like it's got a few different options for fix, fixing it to the monitors. Um, this looks like it will also fit to, I think my 32 inch display has got a small, small size like that. Um, but I'll, I'll just check out oh, Wi-Fi antennas. And uh, it's got a little foot piece where you can install it on. Okay, it just clips over it. It just slides into that. And there's the power supply. Um, it's a 19 volt, 4.74 amp power supply. <clears throat> it's got a clover plug and our country's over plug and um, normal wall plug. Uh, there's the little screws you, which you can use to attach the bracket to the screens. Uh, let's have a look at the device itself. Okay, let's see how this thing looks. Okay, let me just... Ooh, it's uh, got a lot of USBs in front. USB 3s, uh, audio in and out. Um, looks like this board is actually for um, a headset. So you'll be able to plug in um, a headset with a mic. And this one is just for a mic. No power button. Um, it's a Maser brand. Then at the back you've got your VGA HDMI display port. Gigabit LAN, four USBs, uh, power supply, and a little place where you can attach a lock if you want. Uh, there's your Wi-Fi antennas ports. It's got two of them. And what else? Oh yeah, we also got the audio out at the back for speakers. So these two are only in. Oh, in and out. And in. And then this is the audio, audio out sounds like something's loose in here so I guess I shouldn't switch it on before checking that out uh, let's see uh, it's got a warranty seal yes I don't want to send this back uh, I wonder I'll definitely void the warranty if I open this um, but yeah, let's let's wait the one. Quickly gonna take out these little thumb screws and the cover. I believe the whole thing just slides out of it. Yeah, just slides out of it. But it can't at the moment because it's stuck to this warranty sticker. Let me just uh, quickly remove that and. Uh, 
and then I'll just check what screw or whatever is in here but there's something definitely loose in there let me just check that out okay sorry Maser we had to void the warranty but you guys will understand this is actually I think poor workmanship let's uh, show the people what was in there that would have been a big problem if we switched this on with that rolling around I'll just see where the hell that thing came from I mean that that's yeah so as you can see it opens up easily if you <laughs> void the warranty then inside we've got a nice SSD installed um, the fan on the CPU there's the RAM hidden on, underneath um, what else can I show you uh, well that's basically it I don't want to mess around in this thing anymore um, I think I'll just uh, send this footage maybe to to Mesa to just uh, inform them of this loose little screw inside yeah all right we just found the the little spot where that screw should have been in it's for the hard drive there's the other one and where is this we're just going to screw this back in there i don't know how it was, must have been it's just maybe assembly problem so yeah um no harm done we will uh we will switch it on and see if everything's working fine but hopefully they didn't switch it on with that screw uh rolling around on the pc board if there's anything funny i'll just um you know i'll just try and <laughs> get their support and help they normally don't have any problems or issues uh it's a it's a local company in south africa so the mesa brand is tr proudly south african let's close up this i'll put the screw back later just want to quickly show you if you put that stand on there you've got your pc standing next to your desktop and um the, this thing doesn't take up a lot of space for you guys who need um rs232 or any kind of serial um connector this thing has got it it's got all of the rest there's lot lots of pieces out there small form factors and stuff that does not support vga anymore but this one does hdmi and the uh display port so yeah yes this is actually a a very um, versatile little device um, we'll uh, I think we'll we'll maybe make a video of this um, well, maybe I should have put that there uh, we'll make a video of this how it runs how it installs Windows and uh, keep you guys up to date thank you for watching okay I've already connected my grounding cable and uh, that, that's the most important part remember your anti-static wrist straps when you're working with pieces um, the motherboards and stuff like that okay let's put the screw back um, let me just see what I'm doing here okay so yeah the screws put back let's slide back the cover Oh, that is actually actually a very nice design. Um, just slide back like that. Ah, let's take off this. I'm just not fond of the look of this. There you go. And this one. We always remove these because if you don't do it immediately, after a while they get like extremely stubborn to be removed if it's the blue ones you can have that blue stains on your on your device afterwards or that blue color of the cable um let's just screw this back in there i like these little um small little uh thumb screws they uh make life a lot easier don't give a thing thumb screws if you want to put a sticker on there that says i must not open it eh? <laughs> let's close that up so yeah if you have this installed for a few months 
it'll be really easy to take off the cover quickly clean it um, because it's it's definitely going to collect dust uh, it does have that fan and cooling system in there take away this and yeah that's it so um we'll get to the part where we switch it on and show you how it does with the installation all right we just installed windows 10 on this windows 10 pro and it took about five minutes to get up to this point and um, let's see how long it takes to actually get to the windows desktop okay it took about another five minutes to get up to this point and let's just check out the bit of the technical stuff okay now you can see it's an i5 7400 uh, 3 gigahertz it's got 8 gig ram a uh, solid state hard drive and gigabit ethernet okay cool this is going to be a this is going to be a startup of this i5 uh, bear in mind it's got a ssd and obviously it'll be it'll be a quick boot but um yeah let's let's check it out uh yeah that's that's only a few seconds for it to boot up and we had uh, no problem setting it up all the drivers are loaded um everything is done um i think yeah, everything is loaded and uh, it's got an Intel um, the display on this yeah it's an Intel 60 or oh, 630 Intel HD 630 graphics so I think it's proper graphics for that HDMI port um, that outperforms a lot of the older graphics cards in any case um, so We'll do a, a few more tests and stuff, but um, that's all I'm going to show you guys. Thanks for watching.